Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. Today I'm working on a 2012 Lexus ISF. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice car, but obviously has a little issue. Uh, I'm going to do a really, really cool video. So let me get inside. I'll get off the wind outside and show you what we're going to do. Um, this vehicle has been in an accident. And uh, the customer brought it in. He had it at the dealers, and they said it's got a damaged computer. So I have a new computer right here in my hands, and I also have a paper clip. Um, once I go ahead and replace this computer on this car, because the car currently starts with the old computer, it runs, but it's giving him a phony codes because it has a little bit of damage on the computer. I'll show you how to replace the computer, which is located underneath the hood. Uh, behind the driver's side headlight but uh, once you replace it the car will not start it will start and die because of a mobilizer so I went ahead and printed I went ahead and printed uh, a, a DLC connector data link connector that's located underneath the dash I'm gonna show you just by using this paper clip how to program your new computer to your keys of the car because dealer would probably charge around two hundred dollars for this procedure obviously he would use a scan tool and I have a scan tool but I uh, for those of you who don't have a scan tool this would work on most Toyotas especially the older ones I know this works because I have tried it on old Toyotas so um, we're gonna get started so when you get a paper clip you could use a jumper wire or anything all you want to do is just uh, straighten the paper clip uh, paper clip out to uh, just so it's nice and straight just let me show you that in a second just like this this is all you want to do just unbend it I end up uh, you know I'm, I'm videotaping with one hand and I couldn't unbend it with my other hand so I had to stop for a second and uh, once you replace the, the the procedure is like this once you replace your computer you're gonna come underneath the dash you're gonna find this connector and you can see all these pins are labeled for you you're going to take the paper clip, you're going to stick it in pin 4 and pin 13. Just like this, you're going to stick it in, and I'm going to demonstrate it when I'm actually doing it. And then you're going to turn ignition on, and uh, you're going to wait for 30 minutes. Make sure you set a timer on your cell phone or just on your watch. 30 minutes later, it could be 30 minutes and a couple seconds, but 30 minutes later, you're going to turn ignition back off. And you're gonna yank out this paper clip and then the car will start and run so I'm gonna start the car right now I'm gonna show you there's check engine light and the uh, dealer said it's because of the damaged computer so <clears throat> the guy purchased new computer and uh, and brought it to me if I could get it done for him I said that they'll be perfect this way I could make a video how to do it. So you can see the check engine light and traction off light is on. Uh, TPMS is flashing, but it's due to uh, new tires. Um, the sensors haven't been programmed, but the car is running, except that's the only thing. I mean, it's it revving perfectly fine. We're going to go ahead and replace the computer, and we'll go from there. We're going to go underneath the hood. Okay, we're underneath the hood, and as you can see, everything's torn apart. Basically, the code he's getting is P0. 018 and uh, which is uh, the correlation between camshaft crankshaft sensor but apparently they did tracking everything's to totally fine in here uh, they changed the VVTI solenoid um, apparently that was the problem but that wasn't it um, so next what we're gonna do we're gonna take size 10 and there's uh, three bolts right there that we got to take off to get to the computer also, I did make a video how to replace EEPROM. I mean, that would be the, another way of doing, just opening up the computer, your old one, your new one, swapping the EEPROMs. But not a lot of you uh, could really find the EEPROM, and some of you having a hard time finding that. So this video will be just using the paper clip. So I'm going to go grab my size 10 and open this up. All right, now I'm going to take out all my... My bolts just don't lose them. I personally don't think it's a computer because it's 
based on my experience, I just been always changing parts when dealer tells you that, hey, this is what's going on. So this is the computer right here. And obviously the new computer, as you could see, didn't come with the bracket. So you do have to, when you take the computer out, there's a size 10 over here. Um, when you pull the computer out, you will have to replace that bracket. Um, most Lexuses are the same. This is an ISF, but the computers are pretty, pretty much the same. So, and then you need to unplug all the, all the plugs when you pull it out. So, um, I'm also, before I disconnect any of the wires, I'll actually go ahead and disconnect my battery terminal. I'll just disconnect my negative. I can do both of them, but I'll do both of them. I want to move it away. So, there. All right, there you go. So both of my battery terminals disconnected. Next, what I'll do, I'll unplug unplug these harnesses I'll unplug this one this one and this one and then I could start you know yanking the computer out but all you do it's pretty easy and I'm not gonna videotape myself doing all of them but there's a little tab right there where you gotta press it and pull it out just like this I'll maybe do another one or two just to see if you guys get a closer view this is right here is the tab and you can see it pushes in so with your thumb you push it in and then you just pull it up I'll do maybe one more See, you push it in, and then you pull it up. It's pretty, it takes a pretty simple, just follow all the plugs, but these here will get on the way, so unplug these so you can pull the computer out. So I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, as you can see, I end up unplugging and pulling the wiring harness out, and there is another size 10. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's right over there. My light not the greatest. As you can see, there is some damage to the computer. So we'll see um, once I take it apart. Um, all I'm trying to do in this video, just show you how to program new computer without scan tool, because this thing will not start the car. Um, so hopefully this will do the trick. It will take care of the P0018, but uh, we'll find out in about 40 minutes. So stay tuned. Okay, I went ahead and pulled the computer out. You could see it's identical part number. You want to make sure you use a computer with identical part number. Next, these are the brackets that I was telling you about. You need to use Phillips screwdriver to replace them because your new computer doesn't come with those. Just a sticker on there. And uh, we could get a better look at the damage of the computer. You could see it's a little bit bent. Well, well, let's hope it fixes because if you have to tear in into timing, this is like a $2,700 job uh, at Lexus dealerships. If you have to take everything apart, pull the valve covers off, you know, remove the timing cover and retime the engine, it would be very expensive. Also, I do recommend using full synthetic oil that whatever oil it says in the owner's manual, that's the oil you use. Because always, a lot of times, in these Toyota and Lexus engines, there's a VVTi solenoid right there. There's also one over here. The, I, the ISs have two mounted on the valve covers. But anyway, if you use wrong oil, that could also um, mess up your sprockets. And uh, those solenoids uh, will also go bad. So uh, stay tuned. We'll put a new computer in in a second, and we'll start programming it. All right, as you can see, my new brackets are in my new computer. I'm gonna go ahead, and throw it in, and uh, we'll get to the programming. All right, my new computer's in. All I gotta do, reconnect my cover, and I gotta connect my battery back up. Got my negative hooked up. I wanna get it nice and tight positive it will be a little challenge now I gotta go inside the car okay guys so make sure you locate your connector and make sure 
you count your pins right and make sure you look as you can see it's got it's got the longer end and the shorter end so you want to make sure you locate your connector and make sure you put those pins right so there's my connector right there and I'm gonna see if I can get a better zoom on it you can see I have a paper clip in pin 4 and pin 13 alright so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna I have a timer here on my cell phone so I'm gonna turn ignition on I'm not gonna start the car I'm gonna turn ignition on it's gonna look like a Christmas tree everything will be flashing on the dash as you can see it's just like a Christmas tree look at it okay so now I'm gonna start my timer okay And I'm gonna come back here when it's 30 minutes. Okay, so that's the seconds. I'm gonna come back here in 30 minutes and we'll start the car. And this will start the car. This will program this key into the new computer that we just installed. So hang back and uh, check with me in just a few minutes. Guys, as you um you can see my lights are still flashing it's 29 minutes and 19 seconds and counting so in just about in just about uh 30 seconds from now <clears throat> i should be able to start my car that should sync all my data into the computer the vin number and all the key mobilizer stuff it should be in there so We'll we'll wait a couple more seconds and we'll try it see what happens. I did this on older Toyota and Lexus 05, 06, 07 models. It worked like charm. This is my first time doing it on a 2012. So All right, 30 minutes. I'm gonna stop my Watch everything's still flashing and it's total normal for it to flash. I'm gonna turn it off I'm gonna reach over and grab my paper clip all right, I did that, and now I'm gonna try to start the car. There you go, the car is running, the check engine light is on. As I suspected, I didn't think it was the computer, but at least I was able to program it just with a paper clip. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, thanks for watching. This was George with Melnix Automotive. And uh, thanks for watching.